Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie, and today we are going to find Luna Lovegood's things here in the Room of Requirement. So, let's get into it. Well, look at this, folks. Isn't this amazing? A whole room of stuff. We have to find all the goods. So what we'll do, first of all, is we will arm ourselves. Ones at the ready, just in case something tries to do us in. But we're going to have a really good look around in here, because I'm sure that there is uh, lots to be found here. Lots to be found. We need to find Luna's things, but we also need to um, see if there's anything for ourselves. Little treats. Can we get or go up here? Oh, there's only so high we can go. Okay, well, oof. I wonder what sort of things Luna's missing. Shoes or something, I think she said. Oh, might be something over here. A couch. Goblet inside a, a glass case. Cool. Alright. Well, this is, yeah. Unique. Very unique. I bet you a blooming dime a dozen that there is all sorts of treasures in here. Just tucked away, hidden. Where we wouldn't think to look. But we are going to think to look. I mean, oh. could we? I don't think we could get up there, could we? Do you suppose? Maybe. Maybe we have to go up there at some point, but let's just keep looking around. I mean, how on earth are we going to find Luna's stuff in here? The place is chocker. Oh, what's this? A sock. Okay, so Luna's stuff is going to be, like, purpley outlined. Okay, that's, that, that's helpful. And of use to us. Alright, anything else in here? Aha, another thing. What's that? A box or something? I don't know. Ouch! God bless it! That hurt! Ooh, take the gold. Thank you. Gold, lovely gold. I always appreciate the gold. Um, so this is where we came in, wasn't it? So maybe if we keep going this way over here of Luna's. Any trinkets for us? Any chests that need to be opened and explored? Hmm. Look at it. Piled high. Piled high with stuff. A whole telephone box of all things. Some other kind of box thing? Okay. Um. Anything else? Oh, I fell in a hole. Fell in a hole. Oh, can we really just... Yep. Hmm. Can't get up there, can we? No. Well, never mind. Oof. Huh. Alright, let's keep going. Whoop. I... Hmm. A whole dinosaur skeleton. Randomly in the middle of the room. Alright. Anything else here? A bicycle. Hey. Cool. Hmm. Why are the beds in here all of a sudden? I mean, what... Would you sleep in here? I don't think you would, would you? I don't think you'd be able to. All these... Random pillars and stuff? Okay. Uh, oh. <gasps> oh no! Run, Eve! Run! Good lord! Oh god, this is not good. We might need to uh, beat a hasty retreat and get up high somewhere. Where they can't get us, get Bombarda Maxer out! And blast them all to hell! Get out! How dare you! You fools. Where did the rest of them go? Oh, you're all there, are you? Well, well, well. Ow! 
How dare you? Bloody thing! Go away! Stupid books! Oh, I thought there was going to be something good in that chest. Turns out it was nothing but a trap. It's a trap! You're stuck under there, are you? Well, kablam! Get out of here, girl. Stupid books, man. Ah! Oh. Annoyed. I was hoping for something interesting. Ah! Oh. Nothing but another stupid trap. Well, that does not make me happy. But, do you know what? Never mind. Screw it. Screw it. Can we get up here? Yes, we can. Look at this. Look at this. The higher we go. Look at that for a view. Wow. It's so cool. Ha. Ah. All right. Can we? Yep. Yep. Can we? Yep. Alley hop. Alley hop. We're right at the tippity top. Tippity top, man. You don't want to stop. Bam, bam. All right. Let's let's get down there and get Luna's other things and and continue on our merry way. Okay. Oh. Oof. Any more chests that need to be opened? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Another sock. Anything in here? I hope it's not them stupid bloody what were they called? The screaming plant. Ooh. Thought that was something. But look at this. Is it a dragon or a dinosaur? I don't know. I imagine it would be a dragon of some variation, maybe. Given that this is Harry Potter. Well, Hogwarts. Okay. Nothing else? Any other items that we would have an interest in? Oh, there's Luna's other item. Perfect. Thank you. Lovely. All right. Now we just need to leave, I think. Just have a quick peep around, just to make sure we've not missed any chests or anything. Despite the last one I was opening, tried to do us in. But, you know, that's life, I suppose. Ah, maybe it's not time to go yet. Kablam! Can I... Hello? I will take it. Aha. Golden snit snitch. Cauldron... Can we brew anything? Can we brew something here? Oh. Invigoration, strength potion, elixir of life, potion of magicka, mertlap essence. We need to get some more mertlap essence, don't we? Okay. Anything else? In it all spikes. I don't want to stand on those again. Good grief. All right. Well, there you go. We got Luna's things. I suppose we can always come back if we need to. So we need to go down and... Ooh. Oh, good grief. Good heavens. Blasted books. Oh. Get out. Why does that keep happening now? I only want some, you know, some treasure. Good grief. Oh, how annoying. Is there anything else in here? Ugh! Cursed things. God bless it. Is she down there, do you suppose? Um, ah. Let's take the easy way, shall we? Go down the stairs instead of attempting to, um, to do this the hard way. Is she below us again? Yep, she is. Okay. All right. Uh, so she's out. There she is. Ah, there we go. Watch out for nargles and raxberts. I can tell your head is full of them. I've got your belongings. Mm. Oh, you found my possessions. How extraordinarily wonderful. Here, take this. Thanks. Mm. Ta-da! Love it. So we found the room of requirement as well, which is brilliant. Apparently Luna wants our help again. Okay, hello? Mm. Uh, is there something else I can help with? Mm. Well, I don't think so. Not after you help me with my things. Right now, I'm extraordinarily undemanding. Hmm. 
But perhaps Dad does. I know he's looking for Nargles. He wants to write about them in the Quibbler. We might be able to help. We could go and visit him now. Screw it, let's go. Yeah. Let's head out. Oh, so this is this is Luna's house. It's a nice house, Luna. Very um very you, my dear, very you. The love god residence. What's down here? I spy with my little eye. Pumpkins galore all around. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Okay. Let's um let's talk to her father. Luna, are you no, not gonna come in. Oh. Hello What well this is colourful. Very um very colourful. Hello, sir? Are you here? Okay. Oh god. Um is he maybe upstairs? What a funky house. Oh sorry. Jeez. So um let me just 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 wanna look up the top of the house. Okay. Um so ooh. So this is obviously What's with the nest with the eggs? That seems a bit is this Luna's room? See Luna's room is always described as quite quite colourful and bright in the books, but oh we'll take that. But maybe is this maybe maybe Good gr Wow. Alright, let's go and talk to her father then. Um down 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 we go. Hmm. Mr Mr Lovegood, sorry, I'm just um admiring your house. There we go. Alright. Hello. Hmm. Your head looks full of Raxberts. I'm Xenophilius Lovegood. Hmm. How can I help you? Luna said you're looking for Nargles. Hmm. Nargles? Nargles are everywhere. It's a wonder that more people don't spot them. I even think I might have seen signs of Nargles over by the old windmill. Perhaps you could go there and investigate. I should very much like to print any information you find in the Quibbler. Hmm. You will need to use a pair of Spectra Specs. These glasses reveal things that remain unseen to the naked eye. There is a world of difference between what we see and what is. Too many people don't realise this. Hmm. I'll provide a pair of Spectra Specs in case you don't have some already. Here, take these. Hmm. Now go to the windmill. Put on your Spectra Specs. Look for clues. Nargles are devious and thieving little beasts. They are very adept at hiding. Hmm. When you are done investigating, come back to me and tell me everything you've found. Hmm. Will! I will. Look at this thing. Isn't this the horn that exploded in uh, Deathly Hallows? Hermione blew it up. I'm pretty sure that she did. What's down here? Just while we're here. All the way down to the basement. Okay. Oh, it's... it's Yeah, it's literally just a basement. Ha! Huh. Some reason thought there might be a little more to it. Never mind. Can we go out this way? Oh, we can look. Shut the door. It's only, uh, only polite. All right, so Luna, we have to go over to this windmill. Is it over here? Oh, am I going on my own? Probably I'm going on my own, aren't I? Well, God bless it. Never mind. Peaceful and quiet. Ah. <sighs> so, is it across the this way? Okay. Uh, is there a bridge or are we going across the water? I think we can just, yep. We can just nip across this way. Ah, there's the windmill. All right, so let's go up and see what we can find. Any nargles? What is a nargle? Well, I suppose we'll find out in a moment. Okay, so the windmill, we're here. I heard something rustling then. Okay. What's that noise? Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Okay. So the spectra specs. We need to find the spectra specs. Ah. Yes. Those. Uh, 
let's equip them. And, uh, yeah. Fashion! <laughs> they are, um, what did I see? I didn't even know what I saw. Absolutely nothing by the looks of it. Um, I see a golden snitch though. Give me that. Okay. Um, yeah. Ha. Huh. Hmm. They look more like 3D goggles than actual glasses. Just as a just as a thought. I mean, all right. It's it's yeah, all right. We came, we saw, we didn't really see anything. All right, let's go. All right, Mister Lovegood. Sir, I have some news. I saw nothing. Absolutely nothing. Hmm. Well, did you see anything? No. These Nargles are better at hiding than I thought. I know they are out there. So does my Luna. And so do our loyal readers. The Quibbler is the only newspaper brave enough to print this information, cast aside by wizards and witches, living as sheep, unwilling to open their eyes. Hmm. We shall find them one day. As for now, I thank you. Please, take this. A gift. A token of my thanks. Huh. Okay, well, thank you for... that. Alright. There you have it. There you have it. Maybe we should, um... Looney, you, you're reading it upside down, just so you know. Maybe we should go to London, hey? Diagon Alley. Speak to the Daily Prophet. Hmm. Here we are. Diagon Alley. So we need to hire... We need to hire... We need to acquire some weather in a bottle, which will be fairly straightforward. Go to see the Daily Prophet and uh, sort out this man's paper that's not been delivered oddly and um, well we can do a few other bits here I suppose do a bit of shopping get some maybe some more Mertlap essence sell off some things because we Ooh, we have got a lot of stuff a lot of stuff that we need to sell off okay so where's the daily profit come on now Pottage's cauldron shop well I don't need a cauldron thank you is it up here or is oh the Daily Prophet. All right. Hello. Hello. Hmm. Did he now? What? Did he now? He didn't get his shipment. That is Letha's job. Only just hired the green bee. Bloody slacker. You go find Kevin Lethus and tell him that I won't tolerate this again. This is his last and only chance. I will. <laughs> realise I have a child. Using that sort of language is is uncouth. Good grief. What's through here? Peep. Peep the prophet. Any chests that need opening? I am more than gr happy to uh, graciously accept. Ha. Huh. This would be quite cool. Working for a, a wizarding newspaper. I wonder what sort of stories you'd cover. Go out on adventures, maybe? I don't know. Ooh, hello. Uh, gold and some parchment. We do have a lot of parchment now, and I think... Did that gentleman want 20 parchment? I think he did, didn't he? All right, yeet! Thank you. All right. Anything else here while we're here? Oh, what was through this door? Ah, ha, ha! Well, thankfully I have the good old Aloe Humora charm, so I can go in here. And what are you betting? There's going to be a chest or something. Aha! Wizard card, spectacles and parchment. More parchment than we can shake a stick at, or a wand in this case. All right, let's 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 get out of here. So we've got to go and find this fella, Kevin, Kevin Lethus. Ooh! Or we could do this instead. Bombarda Maxima. Kablam! What's in here? Ooh, golden snitch. Oh, it's just an abandoned shop. 
Well, that's that's yeah. Kind of disappointing, but never mind. What's what's this shop? I wonder. Hello. Is this a shop or a cafe? Some variation. Hello, sir. I'm just gonna be taking this mm. and this. Oh no. Well, hello. I am Ballyman Butterbur, the owner and proprietor of the Wine Barrel Inn. How can I help you? Show me what you have for sale. Okay. Um, I don't really need any of that, but but thanks anyway. I, I actually wanted that 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 gold there, but I can't have it. That's fine. Coins, cheese, and silverware. Ah. Oh. There we go. Ha ha. Collected it. Can I go in the back there? Oh, that's Bombarda Maxima. Open up. Ooh, another chest. Hello. Strength potion. Uh, anything else in here? Oh, it's dark. Very dark in here. Okay, well, we came, we saw, we had a peep, and now we're going to leave. Anything upstairs? Before we go anywhere? No? Ah, yes. Another golden snitch. Thank you. This is obviously his private quarters, so we will leave. Brilliant. Where's this fella, though? And out we go. Shut the door. Brilliant. All right, so... Is he... What's this? Is this... Nocturne Alley? Should we... Should we have a look? Peep. Peep the Nocturne Alley. Hello. Oh! Alright. Oh, this is a little spooky. Oh. Um... Yeah, all right. Oh, it's very, very creepy, isn't it? Oh, what was that? All right. What's this? Traditional meat pies. I don't... Borgin and Burks. Um, all right. Let me just uh, have a little peep here. Just to scope it out. You know? I'm scoping it out. Making sure that everything's alright. What's going on here? It's us. It's us. Right. Okay, I think we could talk to this fella, but... Can we go up here? Oh, look at this. We can. Ha ha! Is there any reason to go up here? Are there any... Any... Goods? Doesn't look like it, does it? Ah, kind of disappointing. I would have quite liked to have seen if there was any, um... Chests? Okay. What in the world? Is that a skull? Okay. Alright, let's just talk to Mr. Burke. Hello, sir. Mm. Well, well, a pleasure to see such a young face in here. Do be careful around the displays. These things are so very fragile. And so very dangerous. Many items in here are, well... They have certain dark magical properties. Mm. How may I assist you? Do you need help with anything? Mm. Help? Curious question. Curious. But if you really do have an interest in helping, I do have something that you might do. I presume you're a student of Hogwarts, yes? Another student from Hogwarts, uh, Mr. Blaze Zabini, recently ordered this, the Hand of Glory. Mm. Mr. Blaze Zabini, yes, fine family, very wealthy and very pure. Not ones for associating with the wrong kind. If you deliver this package, tell him to give his mother my regards. That poor woman has been widowed seven times over. Mm. The many deceased husbands have, of course, left his mother with a small fortune. And I must say, some of the deaths did happen under suspicious circumstances. Well, best not to dwell on such matters. Mm. If you would deliver this to Mr Zabini at Hogwarts, I would very much appreciate it. He is a proud Slytherin, same as I was in my time. I suppose you might find him in the Slytherin common room. Hmm. Would you deliver this to Mr. Zabini? Yeah, I'll do it. All right. 
That's still like stinky. All right, give me that. Okay. Um, I'm, 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 I'm gonna go and find something else to do. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good. Lord, what in the world? Oh, this place is weird. It's a weird place. It's weird. A lot of strange. Hello, who are you? Don't mind me. I'm just um, yep, yeah. not doing anything. I'm just looking about. Is that a Moody's eye thing? Ooh, I don't know how I feel about that. Okay. Oh, this place is weird. Oh God, I fell. Who are you? You look awfully young to be in here. What do you want? Uh, show me what you have for sale. Hmm. Can I sell you anything? I don't really want to purchase anything. Magical eye. Death Eater Mask. When Muggles Attack. Written by Barrett Fay, this book contains anti-Muggle propaganda and promotes various conspiracy theories popular in certain pure blood communities. Mm. I I'm I'm leaving. Bye. Oh my god. Oof. That's what is this? I know it's Nocturne Alley and there's a lot of dodgy stuff in here, man, but come on now. Should we, should we, we, we might come back to Nocturne Alley, but for now, I'd, I'd quite like to leave. Can I leave? Oh my god, why can't I leave? Is this the way back out? I think it is. I hope it is. Oh, it is. Thank God. <sighs> I didn't like that. I wasn't a fan. Okay, we'll find Kevin. Wherever he may be. Mr. Kevin, where are you, sir? What is that? Oh, it's like a hanging thing. Oh, I'm glad to be back in Diagon Alley. Good grief. Nocturne's a little little dark for me. Lots of lots of stuff going on there. I'm guessing this dude is probably gonna be in the pub, maybe. Or something like that. Or Yeah. In the pub. Do we reckon? Is this the pub? No, this is a broomstick place. What? We could buy a broomstick, you know. Is he in here? What's he doing in here? Brews and stews. Fishy dinners. Really? Kevin! Hmm. Good day to you. Barnabas Cuff sent me. Hmm. He did? Oh dear. I had to deliver a shipment of daily profits to the ministry today. I completely forgot. I have such a terrible memory. I keep forgetting important things. I hope this never happens again, but knowing me, if only I had to remember all or something. Well, I could get you one. Mm. I do have one, I think. Really? You would do that? I'm sure you can buy one somewhere around here if you don't already have one. Yeah. Mm. Well, I do, mm. actually. Have you got the remember all? Mm. Yes, I have. I can't thank you enough. I can't believe I've never gotten one of these before. Now I might actually have a chance at keeping my job. Hmm. Thanks. Well, yeah, there you go. Okay, so this is like a this is like a food place. Well, I don't really want food. I'm I'm okay for now. Thank you. Um, close your door. Okay. Well, there you go. We found him in brews and stews of all places. Good, good, good grief. Could we buy a a a, a broom? Hello. Can I buy a broom here? Hello. Hi. Hmm. Um, show me what you have hmm. for sale. Whoa, brooms are expensive. Holy guacamole. Huh. Do these folks buy anything off us? No. Okay, so we need to save up some serious coin. Can I, can I get this? Excuse me, boys. Thank you. Um, yeah, we need to save up some serious coin in order to get ourselves a, um, a broom? Good lord. Alright. Alright. <sighs> wow. Alright, we'll... Okay, let's... um. Quietly retire. That's a lot of gold. Hmm. Well, maybe we'll... Maybe we'll be able to save up and get ourselves a new broom. Hopefully, anyway. Oh, but we are going to leave it there for today. I still have my ridiculous Spectra Specs on. I might just leave them on because, quite frankly, they look fabulous. And I feel very, very fashionable. 
But until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves.